What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Charlie Edwards versus Jacob Barreto. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Charlie Edwards and Jacob, is it Barreto or Bayeto? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his last name. Uh, but yeah, Jacob versus Edwards. It's scheduled for 8 rounds to take place this uh, Friday on the 3rd of December in the undercard of the Isaac Lowe versus Lopez fight over at the York Hall in the UK. An MT Global, MTK Global event uh, which will be shown live on IFL TV for I believe the British fight fans. Here in the States it will be shown live on ESPN Plus so tune into ESPN Plus if you want to see this event. So, um, yeah, Charlie Edwards versus Bayero. Uh, Charlie Edwards, for those who don't know who he is, he is the former WBC champion after he defeated um, Christopher Rosales back in 2018. He lost the belt uh, after he decided to move up in weight after uh, he nearly got his ass whooped by Julio Cesar Martinez. It was close. It was close. Um, but Martinez was a little too wild in that fight. And... Uh, and yeah, since then, he only fought once, which was more than a year ago against Kyle Williams. And uh, I don't know why the long layoff. Um, I haven't really been keeping uh, updated. My, I haven't really been updated on why the long layoff. Uh, if I have to guess, maybe COVID. I don't know. But here he is after more than a year of not fighting against uh, Jacob Payeto, a 25-year-old fighter from Spain. With a record of 13 wins, 3 losses, 5 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Uh, looks like most of his career have taken place over in Spain. He's lost uh, early on in the career. He lost. He fought for the European Union Bantamweight title and lost that one. And uh, he got stopped against Jayo Ramos a couple years ago. And since then, he's fought twice. He fought a couple months ago. Actually, yeah, a couple months ago against Jose Aguilar where he won by on points. But if you look at his opponent, the guy had 16 wins and 84 losses. Um, yeah, for this fight, I'm not even going to watch footage of Bayero, to be honest. I'm just going to base it on resume. Uh, and obviously, Charlie Edwards has a much, much better resume. It's a stay-busy fight for Charlie Edwards. That's the way I look at this fight. It's a stay-busy fight for Charlie Edwards. Um, Charlie Edwards has already proven himself that he is uh, you know, a world-level fighter, that he fights at the world level. Uh, as for Jacob... He fights on a domestic level over in Spain. And uh, and yeah, Edwards Edwards should be able to go out there and win this fight, no problem. If he loses this fight, if Charlie Edwards loses this fight, might as well just retire. It, it, there's no point of him continuing fighting. But we'll see. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Uh, Charlie Edwards, unanimous decision or TKO in round number six, uh, five or six, or unanimous decision, eight rounds to zero, seven rounds to one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Uh, doing